I solved this question a while back on GMAT Club. Why don't you try your hand on it and then probably continue watching the video. The objective of creating this video is not really just to solve this question. I wanted to make a couple of points that I really observed when I did this question. So I wanted to share those two points with you so that probably you can see whether uh, those two points align with the way you are preparing for GMAT quant or not. Okay, so it says if S is a finite set of consecutive even numbers. So it's a finite set of, finite means it, it's not infinite, so it's limited. Set of consecutive even numbers, right? 2, 4, 6, 8, or it could be minus 2. But set of consecutive even numbers, okay? Is the median of S an odd number? Oh, median of S an odd number. Okay, in which case would it be an odd number? Okay, now before I really share my thought process on what I thought about it, the first thing to notice here is that I actually thought about it. I find a lot of people directly jump into the information statements before thinking about what they have read so far. Okay, this is a very important distinction between how I look at questions and between and, and how a lot of people look at questions. They would just read the given information and directly jump into information statements without spending time assimilating the given information. Now the point is if you have read this information and not really assimilated it well, when you read the information statement, you're going to come across even more information, right? So it's going to be hard assimilating all of it together. So this is something that I recommend. This is something that I do that before jumping onto the information statement, I would take a pause and think about it. Okay, is a median an odd number? It's a set of consecutive even numbers. How can the median be an odd number? Mm, okay, okay, yeah. So if the this set has an odd number of numbers, right? Let's say it has just three numbers, two, four, six, let's say. Then the median will always be the central element, right? And all the elements are even in this case. So in that case, median will definitely be even. So if the number of elements in this set S is an odd number of elements, okay? then the median is definitely going to be even because the median is going to be the central number, which is definitely even. Okay, so this is something that I'm sure. Okay, but in case it doesn't have an odd number of numbers, let's say it has two, four, six, eight, then probably it can have an odd median, right? Because in this case, the median would be four plus six by two is equal to five. Oh, okay, okay, got it. So in this case, there is a possibility, but is it for sure that it's going to be odd when, when we have an even number of numbers? This simply, actually, I did not think this deeply about it. When I understood that, yeah, when it's odd number of number, it's median is going to be even, but there is a potential when we have an even number of numbers for the medium to be odd. There is a potential. I'm not saying for sure when we have even number of numbers, it's going to be odd. So I was not sure. So I knew that if it's this way, then it's even in this case, it could be odd. Okay, then I went to the information statement one. It says the mean of set S is an even number. Okay, the mean of set S is an even number. What do I do with the mean? I'm concerned with the median. Then I realize, oh, it's talking about consecutive even number. So it's an evenly spaced out set. Now in the evenly spaced out set, I know that mean is equal to median. So if the mean is even for sure, the median is also even. So we have a conclusive no. So this is sufficient. Then I went to 
the second statement the range of set s is divisible by 8 the range is divisible by okay i'm talking about the largest minus the smallest number the range is divisible by 6 okay let's take it to be 6 let's say the set is 2 4 6 8 okay so now we have an even number of numbers here and the median is 7 okay but if it is 12 okay but if it is 12 it means the difference between the smallest and the largest number is 12 right so I thought about it okay when how many elements would I have in such a case the difference is 12 so there are sorry six steps along the way right so at every step there is a difference of two I thought about it so there are six steps overall there are seven numbers because this is the beginning step which is not counted here so this step this step this step this step this step so we'll have a difference of 12 between these two numbers because there are one two three four five six six steps now okay so I know that it's an odd number of numbers here so the median is going to be the central number which is going to be an even number right so it's going to be even median in this case and odd median in this case so this is not sufficient so the answer is a but I was curious to understand okay this is giving me 7 but let me try other possibility when the difference is 6 let me try 0 2 4 6 here also the range is 6 let me see the median in this case also the median is 3 which is odd wow this is interesting let me try some other number 10 6 12 14 16 here again the median is 13 wow so whenever the range is 6 the median is definitely odd wow how is that okay now this is the second one that I wanting to highlight that I asked this question how is that so now I'm interested to figure out why does this pattern hold why am I getting an odd median every time the range is 6 now this is a question that I find a lot of people don't even ask they see yeah it's coming out to be odd this was even they'll just move on or they will see okay this is consistently happening but they'll not take a pause and think about it oh why is this happening consistently why okay this why doesn't even arise and that's a difference okay so to be able to build your quantitative reasoning it's extremely important that you have these why's because if you don't have these why's you will never be able to see patterns in numbers you will just be dependent on taking cases randomly okay you will not be able to see why the numbers behave the way they behave okay so I thought about it mm, if the difference is 6 I know that 6 by 2 3 steps so there are 4 numbers in that set right because if 6 is the difference between these two there are 3 steps along the way 6 by 2 so there are overall four numbers so I know the number of numbers is four and an even number so for sure I'm going to take an average of the middle two numbers to get to the median but why is the average of the middle two numbers coming out to be always odd that is again a question I had then I realized oh, oh okay okay basically the average of these two numbers has to be the number that is in between them right the average of these two numbers or any consecutive even number is always going to be the middle number so that is definitely going to be odd right because between two even numbers there will always be an odd number oh so that's why I was always getting this odd whenever the range is 6 so essentially whenever we have the range as 6 or whenever we have 
actually an even number of elements right now i can generalize it so i'm thinking not just limited to the given question i'm thinking in terms of patterns okay so whenever i have an even number of numbers in the set the median is always going to be an average of the middle two numbers and the average of the middle two numbers is always going to be the number between them which is going to be odd okay okay interesting so i thought okay and if it is if the number of numbers is odd for sure then in that case i was sure that the median is going to be even right okay so how can i ensure that the number of numbers is odd what if i make it divisible by 4 if i make it divisible by 4 then the range could be 4 8 12 16 16 and so on right in such a case the number of elements will be divisible by 2 so 2 4 6 number of elements will be plus one of them right so the number of elements these are the number of steps divided by 2 right number of elements will be 3 5 7 9 and so on so i'll always have the number of elements as odd So if the number of elements is odd i discovered that or i knew that that the median is going to be even so if it were 4 instead of 6 here then statement 2 would also have been sufficient okay now this is something i i want to highlight that this kind of play i do with the questions okay i don't restrict myself just to solving that particular question i think about okay why the numbers are behaving the way they are behaving and if i change certain things how would the answer change or how would things change okay and if you do that your learning will increase exponentially of course it's going to become very uncomfortable in the beginning because you will not know a lot of things but once you are past that initial phase of that discomfort in which you are not comfortable at all or you may end up spending a lot of time with every question once you are past that you will discover a completely different realm of understanding okay so these are the two things that i wanted to highlight in this video that when i before i move on to information statement i actually try to assimilate the given information the second was that i ask the question why that why do certain things behave the way they behave and not just say okay okay this is the this is giving me or this is giving me even okay let's move on okay and third thing of course uh, related to second is that that questions lead to even more questions once i delve deeper into question then i also get even more questions at times